Hi, I'm Oren, and welcome back to the channel. So, you're thinking of buying the Blue Snowball, a 16-year-old mic? Well, there's some things you should know first. I've owned this microphone for about seven years, and let's be clear, I'm not saying don't buy it. Many streamers, YouTubers, and gamers have started out using this. So in this video, I'm going to be going through how the mic works, if you should buy it, and how to make the audio sound better. This is a condenser mic. What that means, it picks up everything around it. So there's some obvious stuff you should do before using it, which is closing windows, turning off fans, closing doors, making sure not around too many people or loud noises. You should also keep like a hand's length away from it when you're using it to help stop plosifs and like pops and stuff in the audio. These plosifs normally happen when pronouncing P words. If you are seeing pops and plosifs and you are staying a hand's length away from it, Try and tilt the microphone away from you, it's best not to talk directly into it or have it angled underneath like I've got it. And you can also buy a £7 or dollar pop filter, what goes over it, and these help prevent it as well. If you watch any audio YouTubers or anything like that, you've probably heard them recommend a software called Audacity. It's what I'm using right now, and it's a great little piece of software, it's free, and you can edit sound, you can mess with it, you can put filters on it, you can just do tons of stuff with it, it's a really good software, I can't recommend it enough. You can use the control key and zoom to zoom in and out and edit the audio more specifically, and you can highlight a piece of the clip that you want to delete and then just click the backspace. Now I'm going to go a bit more in depth on how to use the software, how to get rid of background noise, how to make you sound better in the Audacity software. Once you've done recording, carry on recording for a few seconds after where you're being quiet. This is just so that we can highlight it and try and get rid of the noise from it and it'll hopefully get rid of the noise from other parts of the audio. So select the section that doesn't include you speaking, select effect and then go to noise reduction and get noise profile. Then select the entire clip with control A. Then effect, go back to the noise reduction and press OK. Now what this should have done is take away background noise. Select it all and then go to effect and normalize. The first two boxes should be ticked and this set to minus 1 dB, if it isn't just set it to that. This makes the clip really load. Then select the clip, click effect and compressor. These are the settings that Audacity just recommended me use, so I just use those. On this next part it might vary for you, it depends on your tone of voice, how loud you're speaking and the atmosphere that you're in. Go to effect and select bass and treble and then make sure they're set to 2. And then go to effect again and normalise. Then click export and save as WAV or MP4. This will save the audio so that you can use it in other projects. If you want to save the whole project so you can go back and edit it later, just click save as and it will save as an, as an Audacity file. What's great about this device is it's just plug and play. It's got a USB, it plugs into any computer. There's no XLR cable or any software needed. It just works straight out of the box. The mic comes with a little stand. It can be angled up and down a little bit and turned around but it can also fit on any boom pole because of how light the mic is. It features a little red light on the front to show that it's receiving power. I pretty much recorded the whole of the Vermilo Pro Panda keyboard review on this microphone and edited it in Audacity. So the easiest three things to do to make the audio sound better, get a pop filter, talk a hand's length away from the mic and don't talk directly into the mic. So if you're thinking about getting one of these, I do recommend it and I also recommend you get the £7 or dollar pop filter just to make the audio sound better. The reason I don't use one is because I only use this to talk on Discord with friends. It's good for when you're just starting off with YouTube, streaming, or talking with friends, and it doesn't take up all your money because it is pretty cheap. I haven't had any issues with this, and I've owned it for over seven years, so I do recommend getting it. So if you've enjoyed this video, I really appreciate you watching this far, and check out my channel for other videos like this, and please like and subscribe. And if you've got any recommendations on how I can improve, please comment them down below. I appreciate all of them.